Well, ladies and gentlemen, we we are back for a match preview. Yes, you box you back again for another video today. Well, it's been a while since I've done this. Do it happens. Um, match previews are returning. Um, obviously, I mentioned in my championship score predictions video yesterday um, that I was going to be uh, doing this match preview, and here I am uh, actually recording a match preview again. It feels weird. Um, feels weird that uh, I'm doing these because uh, it's been a while, um, it's been a while if you want me to continue with them you got to hit that like button and subscribe as well it's just so I know that you're loving the match previews as well so um, thank you to Reese for convincing me to uh, do this match preview uh, really put me on the spot there <laughs> uh, but I wanted to uh, I, w I wanted to do this video because it, it just felt right, you know. But it's not beside the video. It's the fixtures coming on Sunday. It's Swansea City versus Cardiff City at the Liberty Stadium. Oh, my God, this has been ages uh, coming. But uh, if you want to see more videos, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Really appreciate all your support. Uh, 500 subscribers now. Thank you again, uh, once again. But anyway, guys, let's get into the video. Starting off my match preview and my score prediction, I may have touched this on briefly. Um, I'm I'm gonna go on a bit of an explanation here. Right, Swansea City Football Club, as I really touched on in my championship score predictions, as Reese mentioned as well. I want to see passion. I want to see desire. I want to see really good football i want to see entertaining football on sunday if we are not going to be living on to the task then i can't see us winning um i'm it's really it's really nerve-wracking to hear that uh um it's really nerve-wracking to uh see that uh we are um we are actually um um we are playing bad but um i i believe it all can change I reckon there is going to be a few changes made to the side. Um, sorry, guys, you made the bit on me with this, but I am not a fan of Matt Grimes as captain. I'm not a fan of him as captain. Um, he was really good when he was not captain, and to be fair to him, he was probably our best player. But anyways, guys, I hope Matt Grimes... Uh, I hope Mike Van der Hoen comes captain, because he's... He, he he urges the team along. Matt Grimes is not that type of person to lead us on. He's not that type of person to. He's not that type of person to keep our team going. I know he's done well in August, but he hasn't done well in the last two months. The manager curse, the ma ma manager of the month curse struck us, and it struck us badly. Um. Anyway, I I hope I hope my message comes clear i don't want to see dan on the stand 11 i want to see selena playing the cam role i want to see peter sun out on the wing again i want to see urge desire fight courage it's it's just i i can't i can't stress enough how much i want this club to do well in the south wales derby um but anyways my score prediction is three one swans i i you made the bid on me with that when I'm you may think I'm being a bit rivalry biased, but I have to back my team. I have to back my team. Uh, even though we've been playing bad, I think we can do it. I think we can bring it back and I think we will I think we will I think we will urge on. So I'm gonna go three one swans, I'm gonna go with Borja Baston with two goals and Pizza with one. Um I'm gonna I just have to say that. I, I gotta urge my team on. So yeah. 
like I touched on a bit there, I don't want to see. I don't want to see. I want to see big changes in this team, um, and I believe so. This will go into the South Wales derby. In goal, I want to see Freddie Woodman. Even though we did we did concede three, I don't blame him. I blame the defence. I blame. I, I blame the defense we weren't on top uh, on top of the game we weren't we were we were just too over ourselves i think we laid back a bit i think but anyways i do i do want to see i do want to see some big changes i want to see yeah i want to keep our back line as sim no i want to i want the back line as followed Left back, Kyle Norton. We want him to start. I don't like Jake Bidwell. I don't like him. He, he's just too inconsistent. I can't I can't stress enough how inconsistent he is. I want to see centre-backs. Joe Roden, Mike van der Horn. There's a bit of touch and go for Joe, as Cooper uh, touched on in his press conference earlier. Uh, I want to see Conor Roberts doing well. I want to see him urge a fight. I want to see him play like the Conor Roberts he was last season under Potter. I don't know what's gone on with him lately. I just think he's too, he's just too full of himself lately. And we want him to do best we can. But that's my back four. I want to see centre midfielders. Well, I want, I wanted to see Byers and Fulton, but it is in case I've just changed my mind. I want to see Grimes and Fulton. I want to see buyers come on. Uh, I want to see buyers come on, and um, I want to see buyers come on and uh, make an impact in the second half. We can't be losing this. Um, Selena and Cam, as I said, he's creating excellent chances through the centre midfield and Cam role. He's a number ten. Cooper has to know what he plays like. He has to know what he intends what he brings to a Swansea City side and the only way to bring him to, into the game is by playing him cam if he goes on the on the left during the game that's fine we he can push on the left hand side he can help Peterson in that role right there even if he's left centre mid or le left attacking midfielder we need to see him play centrally and we need to see him create those chances in the midfield Left wing, Christopher Peterson, he's done really well for us. He done really well for us against Brentford. He was one player that was on top of the game and wanted to prove himself to Cooper. Right wing, Andre Ayew. I want to see him play really good. I want to see him play like the Premier League style, a standard he was. He's a Premier League standard player. I expect much more from him. I would expect more goals from him and I expect more uh, deliveries into the box, just like Selena. Up top, Borja Baston, he's got to start. Sam Surridge, um changed his profile picture back to a uh, Bournemouth uh, profile picture. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is probably going to be my start in the left. And I'd love to see on the bench, I'd love to see Northfelt, Wilmot, John playing against his former club. Last time, if you guys didn't know, he was actually... He was actually playing for Cardiff in the last South Wales derby um, as well. Centre mids, as I touched on, Byers, I'd like to see him come on throughout the game. Jordan Garrick as well, he can make an impact. Wayne Routledge and Nathan Dyer on the bench. I don't want Surridge on the bench. I just think, I, I, I think he's not ready for a South Wales derby. And we can't be taking Borger off if we're struggling to play, uh, in, struggling to play well. I, I want to see experience on that bench. I want to see Dyer and Routledge. Garrick is a type of player that can change a game or something like that. I may be wrong with the starting 11, but I, I might include Dyer and Routledge in there. I don't know yet, but we just got I just got to touch on the fact that we need experience in that team for Sunday. Anyways, guys, that's my predicted 11. Key players for Cardiff City then. Oh, my God. Um, I might get this horribly wrong, but looking at their team news today, I've, I've seen a, po a few people uh, post this on Twitter. Junior Hylett and so, so Bamba are out for the game on Sunday. What a boost that is. But they do have some danger men. They have Aidan Flint, who's a really good defender. We need someone to mark him who's got um, tall. Um, 
who is really tall and i think experience is experience is the key to that i reckon mike van der horn's gotta be on him at all times during set pieces if cardiff are gonna have them um i want to see um so another key player for cardiff is joe rolls now he's a very good center midfielder we've got to be aware of him on sunday he can play chances throughout and the passes he makes is just wonders like he's he's I'm not gonna lie, without being rivaled by us, I think, yeah, I think Joe Rolls is a Premier League standard player. No, I won't say Premier League standard player. No, uh, he's like a really good def uh, player, Joe Rolls. I really, um, he's like one card for I, I actually rate. But another uh, key player is the what guy who scored, who scored twice against Manchester United last season and in the uh, last day of the season, Nathaniel Mendes line. Yes, he's going to be probably filling in for Junior Hoylott. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw that. But anyways, another man who is in the thumbnail of this video, Robert Glatzel. You can never know what this man can bring. He's a very tall striker. He's someone, again, as Aidan Flint, that can convert um, to set pieces into um, well-driven goals. Uh, Robert Glattel has height um, over some people. As a, as I said again, we need someone tall marking Glattel. But anyways, that is my card of key players, as well as uh, Neil Etheridge I have to touch on. Uh, he is a very good uh, goalkeeper as well. Um, we he hasn't come back into the game since of his injury. He's gone down rate in um, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, we, we, we have to see until Sunday what he's going to bring. So so that is the end of my match preview. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Oh, I cannot wait for the South, South Wales derby. Nerves, excitement. Um, the G Swan City um, Twitter account has actually put a countdown on. Um, can't be done the best moments of our South Wales derbies. But anyways, guys, that is my math preview concluded. Make sure you leave that like button, subscribe. We need to see courage, desire and experience. That's all I want to see. Come on, you swans. Please don't let me down Sunday, please. And hopefully we can bring on the three points and South Wales will be one. <laughs>